Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Christy. Today I have a small Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I needed a few necessities that I had run out of. Unfortunately, I was not able to find all of my favorites that I went out looking for. But I picked up a few items and I wanted to share those with you. Um, I did see several new items that I did not pick up and I added those to my Instagram account. So if you wanna follow me there, my name will be in the description box below or I'll have it down here so you all will know what it is. But I'm always posting on Instagram probably daily and you can either check my story or the pictures in the newsfeed and see what's there. So let's go ahead and get started. But first, if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you comment below so I can talk to you guys and give me a thumbs up if you like Dollar Tree hauls. Okay, I picked up something for spring because right now Dollar Tree has all of their Valentine stuff in and some of their spring stuff in. I saw that they're getting in some of their seeds and potting soils and um, gardening utensils, just tons of spring stuff in. If you see something you like right now, go ahead and get it because it will not be there next time. But I got this to put in my flower bed out front. It is just a tiny little garden gnome. They had him in several different colors, but I liked the green hat with the little blue jacket on. He's got a little black belt on, brown boots. He has a little maroon pants. He's a pretty good little size for a flower bed. I only picked up one, but they had several different colors, like I said. Um, also, they had some new micellar water. Again, I put that picture on Instagram. Me and Kerrigan had a debate over it for a few minutes, and I decided against picking it up. It is a Greenbrier product, but it is manufactured in China, and I just didn't feel safe putting something manufactured in China on my face, so I did not pick that up. Something that I did pick up for the face is the Pond's Pure Detox. And this is a facial foam with activated carbon charcoal. And you get 3.5 ounces in this container. The directions on the back say wet your face, create lather, gently massage onto face and neck, and then rinse off. So I picked this up just to put in the shower and Kerrigan's gonna be using it. She loves things that are charcoal based. Um, for her face and Pond's is a name brand so I knew this would be good. Again, this one is not manufactured in China. Um, I'm not checked the price on this to see what it is other places but since I was at Dollar Tree we just went ahead and picked it up there. They had in some new Kool-Aid sparklers. Here's what they look like. This is six cans and of course it's grape flavored. It's got 50% less sugar and it says it's new. Let's see, try our other fizzing flavors. No artificial flavors, no high fructose corn syrup. And does it say? One can has 50 calories and 11 sugars. So let's just go ahead and see what a can of this looks like. I got this mainly for Briley to see if she likes it. Yeah, just a small little can like this. We are really cutting back. We're not a soda family anyway, so I don't keep soda in the house. But we're trying to start eating healthier, and I thought I would wean her back from sugar a little bit since this one's got 50% less in it. So we'll see how that goes. I don't think she can take them in her lunchbox since they're carbonated, but she usually takes water anyway, so that's not a problem. Speaking of Riley, she picked up one of these motion spirals. I had showed these on Instagram before as a new item and I didn't pick it up because she wasn't with me. And I really didn't know it was something that she would be interested in, but apparently all the kids have them, so she had to have one. You just spin it on your arm and it says, roll up and down your arm, interactive play. It folds flat and you can display it as a sculpture apparently. It looks like it's just a metal circle but all these pieces are um, connected and they're in one and then you just spin it on your hand and it does different stuff. So she wanted it, I told her I'd let her have it. You know how it. Speaking of eating healthier, um, they had in their Tyson's 
uh, premium chunk chicken. This is fully cooked, 95% fat free, and it's white meat chicken. You get, how much is this? 4.5 ounces in this. I've picked these up several times in the past, both at other retail stores like Walmart and at Dollar Tree. A dollar is a great price. And this is really good to like put over salads and stuff so that you can get some protein. Since I'm really going to stick to eating healthy this week, y'all keep me on track. This week I'm going to eat healthier and cut out a lot of junk. But this is going to be one of my main proteins that I get in this week. This, lots of fruit, lots of veggies, and tons of water. So if you see the Tyson's Premium Chunk Chicken at your stores, pick it up because, like I said, I paid way more for it at Walmart. And then for the three staples that I went to pick up, actually there was more than that, but like I said, they didn't have them. I picked up one of the Reynolds Wrap. These are the full sheets that just pop straight out like this. You get 25 sheets in these. I love these for the toaster oven and I wanted to pick up Preston a box of them for his toaster oven. If you don't follow me on Instagram, Preston is my oldest child. He is 22. He'll be 23 in like two and a half months. It's so hard to believe. But he just moved out. He's got his own apartment. I'm both excited and extremely torn apart about the whole situation, but I'm trying to stock him up on some necessities that he just won't know that he needs, but mom does. So I picked those up for him. I picked us up some more parchment paper because we ran completely out over the holidays. This is the parchment paper, which is nonstick plus it's oven safe and it's 25 square feet. So this is the one that I pick up at Dollar Tree that I like. And I went to pick up all of my wipes because I love the Dollar Tree wipes. <laughs> These are the home store. These are the furniture wipes and they're comparable to the Pledge. This one has 20% more, so you get 30 wipes. I love these for wiping down my wood furniture and stuff. But they also have the um, glass cleaner ones. I could have swore I picked one of those up, but I may not have. I did, but I gave it to Preston. That's where it went. Um, and I like those to clean my mirror in the bathroom with after everybody brushes their teeth and gets ready in the morning. And then some of my favorites are the multi-purpose cleaners. And they're the ones that are for granite, they're for windows, and they're for um, stainless steel appliances. I love those too to wipe down the refrigerator and the stove and the dishwasher. But I can't find them anywhere. So I've been to three stores in the past like week and can't find them. So I'm still on the hunt for those, but love these guys. Okay, that's all I've got for this small Dollar Tree haul. I told you it was a tiny one, but that's because my stores are busy clearing out all the Christmas items and bringing in new stuff. One store I went into today, the whole front section was completely void of any products. So I've never seen it that empty before, but they had boxes and they were bringing them out and they were starting to stock. So I'm really excited about all the new items that they're going to be getting in soon. And you know that I want to keep you guys posted. So make sure you stay tuned. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye. up a few new items but I picked up <sighs> yeah and <sighs> of have been extremely slow one of them that I went in to do <sighs> more new products and I'm super excited about that I'm ready to bring in Christmas. <laughs> what? What is wrong? Go ahead. Oh, wait, I did it wrong. It looks like a bubble if you move it fast. Okay.